Okay, um, hi guys. Um, this is a short video to recap on plant hormones and growth. It's part of the B1 examination in the section of coordination and control. So we're generally here to explain why do plant shoots go towards light and why do plant roots go uh, downwards towards the force of gravity. So if we just see this little diagram here, this is what we're looking at. This is what we're starting off with and how does it end up getting in towards that way, okay? So bending towards the source of light. And likewise, how is it that roots bend or go downwards, okay? So first thing is that we have to mention about tropisms. Tropisms are how plants respond to different stimuli, uh, how they go towards them, um, or how they move towards them. And there's different types of stimuli, so uh, plants can respond to temperature, and this is known as thermotropism. They can respond to water, which is known as hydrotropism. The ones that we're looking at is how they respond to light and also gravity. So we have two key words here. So remember, if I say keyword, you should definitely know these for your exam. We've got phototropism and geotropism, okay? Now, phototropism is how a plant responds towards the source of light, and geotropism is how a plant responds towards the force of gravity. It's really important as well that you note that geotropism can also be known as gravitropism in the exam, so just be aware of that. Now, first thing is that we've got two different types. We've got positive and we have negative, okay? And positive uh, phototropism is when a plant grow grows towards the um, source of light. And the part of the plant that usually does that is the shoot. If you're talking about negative phototropism, it's when the plant grows away from the source of light, and this is the root part of the plant. We also can have positive and negative geotropism. Positive geotropism is when the plant roots go towards the force of gravity, and then negative geotropism is when the um, plant grows away from the force of gravity, which would usually include the shoot part of the plant. Now, as well as wanting to go towards gravity, plant roots love moisture, okay? They need water, so generally speaking, roots like to go downwards towards moisture in the soil as well. So it's important to note that it's not just geotropism, but moisture that is attracting the roots, okay? So that is our geo and phototropism. Now, what is actually controlling these tropisms? It's our hormones, okay? We have hormones in the human body. These are chemical messengers and plants have them as well. And the main type of hormone that is involved in growth in plants is oxen, okay? So that's the main hormone that we're going to be dealing with today. Now, we're going to look at our plant. So here we are and we have the shoot part and the root part. Now, oxen is made in the tips of the shoots and in the tips of the roots. And we're going to talk about how the varying concentration can affect the growth, okay? So, if we just look at the circular part here, we're going to get this to enlarge. So, if we look here, this is our shoot, okay? So, it's a nice, bigger version of it. And we have the light coming down towards the tip of the shoot. And generally speaking, the oxen here is distributed evenly, okay? So, what you'll have is light directly above the shoot tip, and as a result, the growth is equal towards the light, okay? Because there's equal distribution of the oxen here. So just going to grow upwards. Now, this isn't always the case, however, because we know that light comes in at different angles. So if we look here, this is obviously light coming in this direction. So what's going to happen? Well, initially, you have your oxen evenly throughout the shoot. However, when you have the light coming in at one side, oxen does not like that because oxen does not like light really, okay? It tends to break it down. So what will happen is that oxen is going to diffuse across to the other shaded part of the plant, okay? So where there is no light getting, it's going to move across. Now what happens here is that we know that the concentration will increase as a result and the concentration here is going to decrease. Now with oxen in the shoot, this encourages growth. So the more oxen that you have in a particular area in the shoot, the more growth you're going to have. The less oxen you are going to have, which would be this part here, the um, slower the growth is going to be. So as a result, all of the cells along this side are going to elongate, they're going to grow more uh, rapidly, and as a result, this tissue here is going to stretch and it's going to start to bend over the cells along here. These cells are growing a lot slower, so they're not going to elongate and they're not going to stretch as much, and as a result, you're going to get your phototropism, which is going towards the light. So this is our phototropism here and this is how it happens. It includes hormone, oxen, and what we know is that the more we have of oxen in a particular area, this encourages growth. The less we have, it's just going to literally slow down the growth. And as a result, it's going to bend in towards the light. 
So that's the first thing we need to know. 